In July, Father Marco Rupnik was definitively expelled from the Society of Jesus. The Jesuits stated that the accusations made against him were credible, which included alleged psychological abuse and sexual harassment. The Jesuits also ruled out that events such as the one that provoked his excommunication in 2020 were isolated cases. But now, the Diocese of Rome has investigated the way that Father Rupnik's excommunication was carried out. It claims that the process was gravely abnormal. During a press meeting in December of 2022, the Superior General of the Jesuits explained what the excommunication process consisted of. It was latte sententia, which takes effect as soon as the sin is committed. In confession, Father Rupnik had allegedly absolved someone with whom he had committed sexual acts. In this case, there was a previous investigation and a criminal administrative process. Later, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith confirmed that there was a latte sententia excommunication because Rupnik had absolved the person. But how can this excommunication be lifted if the person acknowledges and publicly formally repents? And that is what he did. The excommunication was lifted in 2020. But the diocese investigation does not end with the process of excommunication. Their study also analyzed the environment of the Aleti Center, where Father Rupnik was very involved. According to the Jesuits, there were also some complaints of alleged abuse committed by Rupnik at this center. However, the Diocese of Rome states they did not find any evidence of serious problems there. The Aleti Center itself had already said in June that the superiors of the Society of Jesus had created a media campaign based on defamatory and unproven accusations against Father Rupnik, which exposed him and the Aleti Center to public ridicule. The head of this center, Maria Campaletti, met with Pope Francis a few days before the diocese published its statement. The excommunication process that Father Marco Rupnik faced, as well as his expulsion from the Jesuits, has generated controversy among those who continue to doubt either his guilt or his innocence.